Check Firearms Podcast. All right, we're going live. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Check Firearms Podcast. My name is Lucas. There is a Carl from Check My Guns right Hey-o. next to me. And we are at EVA 2024, so it's one year later after the podcast with legendary gentlemen sitting in front of me, Eric Grofell. But today, uh, we have the combo. We brought two world champions. So Eric and Khalil Vore, welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's a great pleasure to have you. Um, and we want to talk about some interesting topics. We also did a survey Uh, on Instagram, so we have some questions from the people. Mm-hmm. Uh, but how do you enjoy the show so far, Eric? Well, you know, it's a 50 years anniversary of the IWA. Uh, personally, I've been there for probably 25 of them. Okay. Uh, so, which is not too bad. Okay. Uh, but I still like the show. The show, it's this year, more and more people. I know you probably have seen that on the booth where, like, pretty packed uh, the the very first three days uh, two days more cool it's the last day you feel more relaxed uh, yeah and, and so on but um it's we really passed covid now it's clear oh yeah uh, the the intensity the the lot the, the numbers of people coming you you can feel having a hard time moving uh inside the, the show so yeah. it's, and no it's pretty cool yeah uh, and before we before we move to khalil i need to ask about that hat <laughs> like what what is that <laughs> it's perfect that it, it can fit the headphones underneath it but well it was a gift um as you guys know ASG is actually the licensed manufacturer of the CZ uh pistol line uh in the airsoft world and uh they gift me this super hat fancy uh on the first <laughs> day of the show so I was actually carrying it not whole through the day but during the show here uh going through the alleys and then it was fun people were looking at me like what the hell is like mario bros coming here around the show yeah, yeah. so yeah we, it's a put it's it's cool it's fun yeah I we like actually it. it's m- very fun we actually made jokes about that that uh, the hat is normal size but uh you are just eric too compact <laughs> <laughs> yeah midget eric <laughs> yeah, yeah well i'll do some shots next week at, at the range uh, just trying to, uh, to shoot with the hat i'm just curious to see okay. if there's going to be some issues with it so fun no, fun, fun fun uh, clearly is this your second Time? Yeah, it's my second time here. Yeah, how do you like the Germany so far and the show? Um, I love it because it's um, way colder where oh, I'm yeah. from. <laughs> Man, I saw you struggling with the with the jet lag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like sleepy s- on the dinner, like. Uh. <laughs> yeah, then I right after sleeping, <clears throat> I wake up around 2 a.m. Okay. I uh, I sleep at 11 or 10 p.m. So that that's like a how, few uh, hours of how, sleep. How long is the flight actually? Um, it's like um. Almost 30 hours. 30 hours with the layovers. 30 hours. With the layovers. Yeah, with the stops yeah. and yeah. everything. Wow. Uh, that's that's not that <laughs> and comfy. And fly, flying home right after the show? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, It's just, actually starting tonight. So imagine and, and right when we're done with the show today, I think that's what you said, right? Yep. You're, you're going to the train station, train to, was that Stuttgart or something? Yep. Uh, and, uh, then, Frankfurt. and then, and then yeah, Frankfurt. Oh. Boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Back home. Yeah. How do you guys um, deal with the that the people are recognizing you? I, it's not like a very common for Eric, right? Because you know you do it for years now. But for you, like being recognized b- between the people, it might be disturbing. I, I kind of understand that there might be like <laughs> people like a flies, right? Like, hey, 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 let's let's take a picture. Let's take a picture. <laughs> no, I'm actually really happy um, to see people like that. I mean, absolutely. Overwhelmed. But But I can imagine once you are like terribly jet lagged and then like you are hungry or something and then there's like little, plenty of people like walking around like disturbing <laughs> you like hey, hey, hey pushing you to the corner to, to make the... No, I actually forget about everything when um, people um, go to me because oh, um, nice. that really makes me happy, you know, and people recognizes you. Great, great. If I can ask you gentlemen just to get closer to the microphones okay. because of the sound we, we hear from the rest of the show. Yeah, we have some extra sounds from, from the show. Uh, it has become pretty crowdy. Uh, yeah, so let's talk about the performance. So we did like a nice introduction, uh, but uh, let's, let's talk about the uh, performance. We have some questions from, the, from our fans. Um, so what do you guys think is the most important part uh, needed for performance and it must be anything it might it might be like a, the technical advantage or like a, like the whole combo eric what do you think it's a it's a tricky question uh, but it's 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 
pretty easy to to answer I would say performance is a combination of necessarily um, athlete skills that's okay. one thing okay. um, equipment that mm -hmm. will make the second part so you in the equipment you get of course the gun the ammunition everything that goes around your rig mm -hmm. this athlete skills it's all about the uh, uh, athletic performance uh, reaction uh, speed force that you can um, that you put on um, then you have I would say uh, all the mental aspect and most likely that mental aspect is the most uh, important one in um, deciding whether you're gonna perform or not mental comes in with first stage reading uh, making a decision okay that's my read I, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna mm -hmm. shoot this way. Mm -hmm. um, is it correct? Not correct. That's mm -hmm. different story. You're making a choice. Are you making a choice based on scores of your competition, mm -hmm. or are you making a decision based on your personal feelings? Mm -hmm. uh, and then the execution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Execute the plan. My my following question, uh, lead it from from your answer is like, do you often change your stage plan? like a minute before the start or oh, even 10 seconds before the start you can oh, really? really oh yeah you, you also 10 you? seconds i did before. that at the world shoot like yeah um the ro was commanding me to load and make ready then i changed my game plan oh really yeah like because i i was the last shooter uh -huh. then i saw everybody shoot the stage already uh -huh. and then I, I had a different plan that i think it's uh, is way faster so i did that um okay uh, did it, did, did yeah, it go it well? It worked out, yeah. I got out. the stage nice. win. <laughs> nice. These are, the, these are the most crucial moments. Uh, but one, once you make it work, it's like a miracle, right? It's like, yes! Hell yeah! It's, uh, yep. it's, it's all there. Uh, speaking about the performance, what would you say is the, is the percentage of the skills and the gear? Or uh, the, the physical stuff, I mean the technical aspects, the gun and, and the equipment as you mentioned. What's the like, uh, ratio? Pretty straight easy. 25% is your equipment. 25% oh, 20. is, Only your, 25. Okay. is your athletic skills. And 50% is your mental. Ooh. Okay. And you know why? Yeah. You agree? Yep. You agree? Yep. Okay. And, that, and that's very simple. Uh, the athletic skills, you work them all year long. So you prepare, you get, they're done, mm -hmm. they're ready. Yeah. So that's one thing, it's control, it's set. The gun, equipment, ammo, it's also something that you prepare along the year. Mm -hmm. So it's ready, you know it works or it doesn't work. If it works, you're pretty good. There's The margin of error here is fairly controlled. Oh, yeah. Mental, you never know what's going to go through your head at mm -hmm. that moment. You ne you're never prepared to any screw up in your head yeah well how do you gonna react if somebody says hey you're a little bit slower today what's going on oh, it's, shit. Like, it's like <laughs> you're like am i is it really true is it correct oh yeah are you able to take the statistics and check your scores are uh, and to to confirm that you're slower or not uh or or are you like freaking out do are you reacting to this information mm -hmm. so let's say you react how do you react do you react by slowing down because you're you're scared mm -hmm. or you're reacting because you're going to push forward and and move faster mm -hmm. and and shoot faster and probably start making mistakes how are you going to react to the mistakes if you yeah. go faster Sh uh, that that actually reminds me the the movie pumping iron with arnold schwarzenegger when he was making this like mental pushes to the opponents just to mm -hmm. throw oh, them the off. Sylvester yeah. Stallone and the... Yeah. 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 And, and is, is this also happening with the IPS shooting? Of course. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Every day, yeah. every time. Yeah, you, you can get like a message from, from the... Even from the RO or from like, like your biggest opponent is beating you. Like you are in the middle of the match, right? Yep. These are the worst. Carl, yeah, we tell me. can't close your ears. You mean you is there standing, talking to someone, and on the other side, someone is talking loud enough so, so, you, can so, hear. so you can hear. You're not focused but, on that discussion. On You're not focused on that discussion, but you can hear it the information. It sneaks into your mind. And it's in. You can't block that. Mm -hmm. So the information passes. Now, how you deal with that, it's mental. Yeah. So, uh, Khalil, what, what was the worst you've heard so far? <laughs> <laughs> what, you know. what threw you off the most? You're gaining weight. Really? Yeah. It's okay. the most common one, yeah. Oh, so that, that's what, uh, you know, breaks your kind of focus, right? A little, but um, 
I go straight back to focusing on the stage plan. Uh huh. I got you. How did you guys met actually? Hmm? How did well, you guys I, met? I, I, I would start actually with something else even before that. So, how did you hear? Or the, can you recall the first time you heard about the other one? Yeah. Like But for example, for example, Eric, when you, when you heard for the first time that there is a, a little Asian guy who does it better. Well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't heard about one Asian guy, and I heard about two Asian guys mm -hmm. because there were okay. two of those: uh, him, Khalil, and Bro Texan, and oh, yeah. they were described like two monsters of standard division, <laughs> IPSC, rock and roll, shoot, no fear, no, no temp. I mean, pretty much reckless when they presented. It's like, geez, <laughs> yeah. who are those two kids? I, I mean, I need to get to see that because it's yeah. not often we get juniors. Good year. Well, yeah. they, they, they were like 16 years old. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we don't have much of young people in the sport. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm, I'm at the point where I'm getting older and, and I'm still in love with the sport and the competition, mm -hmm. but the future is not me. It's these young kids. Yeah. And, we need to get there and see that so mm -hmm. I get to see him already 2017 um, when we shot the uh, when we shot the world French shoot. Uh, mm -hmm. world shoot mm -hmm. and then I saw them again in uh, Serbia mm -hmm. at, mm -hmm. uh, actually at the range of Lubisha Mamcelovic okay. who is also one uh, one member of the CZ shooting team as yeah, you yeah. guys know and uh, they were here again and, and and after a few years I'm, I was like damn and I told Our uh, marketing director at the CZ says, "We need to hire this guy. This guy is something else. He's, he's got gold. He's got gold in his hand. We need to take a shot. We need to get him in oh, because yeah. there's a chance he wins the title. And here it is. There he goes. And it worked out. <laughs> And it worked out. Yeah. So, uh, how about you, Kyle? Can you recall the first time you've heard about Eric? Hmm, it was when like you were like." Three years old, I guess. <laughs> no, I started shooting when I was um, <laughs> when I was like um, 11 years old. Okay. Then after like six, eight months, I heard about uh, uh, this guy, a French guy, who wins a lot of titles. Because I was just new, I uh, know mm -hmm. uh, know nothing about the community. Yeah, yeah. So I just I, go. I, I imagine you are still a kid, right? Yeah, yeah. In the age of 11, you are just. <laughs> I was just listening to the. Uh, Older people that talks about the, the competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, who's Eric Grafell? Then I searched, uh, I searched him up on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Then I watched a, a lot of his videos, especially the World Shoot in Greece. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. What was like the first meeting of you guys? World Shoot? Yeah, I would say World Shoot Friends. World Shoot, yeah. so Friends, so 2017. In introduced uh, 2017. yourself to each other and yeah. just uh, like... I was actually yep. shocked because in his old videos, he was fatter. I Then see. During World Shoot 2017, everybody was shocked because he was so fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was <laughs> athletic. Yeah, yeah. We, we talked about the... Yeah, it, we uh, talked about that story. We don't need to get <laughs> through this one again. <laughs> I know, I know. No, we won't. Well, Wait, I mean, who I wants to mind. hear it play the first, uh, exactly. first <laughs> episode? My next question is... You guys are like a role model to a lot of people. I'm, I'm taking my inspiration as well. I'm not trying like to steal from you, but I'm, I'm being inspired personally. But my question is, who is your, do you have your role model? Or who is inspiration for you guys? In shooting? Oh, no, it might be journal, it might be in shooting. You know, yeah, you handle the question. Shoot first. Um, in shooting, um, it's Eric. Oh, nice. Um, JJ Okaza. Okay. Um, and Bob Vogel. Okay. And, um, and generally? Generally, and in, uh, with um, how I shoot, with my mindset, I have mm -hmm. a coach in the Philippines. Okay. He's like my mental coach. His name is Lyndon Beraugo. Okay. And um, yeah, he's actually my inspiration every time I shoot because I uh, recall everything he taught me about nice. the mental game and shooting. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's it's so the the mental thing is so important, right? Yeah, yeah it so is. Fifty percent. We already it. said that. I expected a little bit less, but uh, you are probably right. So, how about you, Eric? Well, I started much before Khalil. So, for me, you know, if we talk about the shooting part, of course, Rob Lizen. Okay. Cherry Mitchellick. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, all these guys from that generations. 
uh, we got Todd Jarrett also, Jerry Barnhart, uh-huh. uh, for those uh, who know who know him. Um, yeah, the, all these guys, I've learned from them. I've been I've been in the U.S. many many times in my, in my young age to mm-hmm. to learn how to shoot, how to be uh, effective. Because by the time, clearly U.S. were way above any other countries in the world. So the only way you want to learn is to go there and. and and, and do your best. See the trends. Yeah. yeah. Is is do you consider US as a as a still like a leader in, in the in this industry? Well, it's definitely a leader in the industry in the sense that they have a probably the most potential top shooters mm-hmm. uh, on their soil. It it I I mean this is more like coming from the culture uh, culture generally. So it could be, it could be, but uh, it, it's also because it, it's also because the country is bigger, um, more people shoot. I mean, USPSA, I, I can't call the right numbers, but they probably like thirty, forty thousand, yep. maybe yep. more members mm-hmm. into it. So necessarily, you got more potential athletes uh, there. Um, they are way more into supporting uh, top guys than mm-hmm. we can find anywhere else in the world. Uh, even though some companies uh, around Europe are supporting and also like we can see in CZ we're having a pretty strong team yep uh, but still US is is definitely the 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 market where a top shooter top athlete needs to go uh, kind of to be recognized mm-hmm. by the shooting world mm-hmm. because mm. if, if you're if you're approved if you're a USA approved top shooter uh, then you it opens then you, the gates. It opens a lot everywhere. of gates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and any any role model uh, from the, like general world or then like star or you know, uh, like, like nah, I mean, I'm, I think I, I'm I'm sucking a little bit of everyone. What I want, what I'm expecting. You know, mm-hmm. um, yeah. I, I like my I like my life in the sense that I'm going home. It's quiet. Uh, I like that that part of my life, uh, but I like also the part of life or where I travel, get to meet the people, oh, yeah. uh, get to talk with people, uh, stuff like that. I got, I like the life also where we do this uh, crazy freaking dinners uh, with like good food, uh, discover <laughs> the countries. Oh yeah, uh, you know, go to Brazil, and I like the, the I like to go Brazil and go to the Churrascarias. I like to go in the Philippines and just get my adobo. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, I suck a little bit from everywhere. So I, I'm, I cannot call a name. I was expecting just, yeah. someone like Michael Schumacher or something like that from the other sport, for example, someone who reached the, the absolute top. That you, you but yeah, well, that's you, all right. Well, if you if you talk about sport, yes, you can you can call it Michael Schumacher. You can call it um, um, damn it. Uh, Milton, uh, right now, uh, we got Verstappen who is yes. on, on the one of the newcomers, and I'm actually using using uh, Verstappen as a good example now to the young kid. I said, mm-hmm. look, look mm-hmm. at this mm-hmm. uh, at this driver who succeed now is on top of his game, but Hamilton did the exact same. And if you look at the history of those drivers, for, for example, um, they started young. Yep, mm-hmm. there's no oh, yeah. secret. Yeah, they started at a very young age. And this is proven in every single sport. Yeah, you start when you're a, you're a teenager, yeah. or even before if you can. Mm. You have the real most chances to achieve top potential athlete in oh, yeah. what you like. Oh yeah, because th- there must be something in the fact that you are learning the skill once you are physically growing. Yeah. So, so it becomes a part of your body. Yeah. So you grow with that. Yeah. The same. It, it might be weird, but you know, mm-hmm. you make your own opinion about it. But there's probably that aspect, right? That you grow and you gain something extra, yeah. Yeah. And, and then it becomes part of your body. Mm-hmm. Well, it's also much easier to learn when you're growing up because that's the age when you're learning everything. Yes. You're a sponge. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. If, if it, you know, it's if we are old. It's hard to learn now. <laughs> Not really. You need to find the right motivation, but the he doesn't want to say no, it. He doesn't he's want. No, he doesn't want. Exactly. You have to he's a slightly younger than yeah, me. So you know, you're maybe. learning slower than a younger boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Because uh, the kids are soaking. They're yeah. they're freaking soaking the info, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, they, it it takes like, our computer works like different, right? We just need, okay, 
like hear, accept, and then like use. But the kids are like, they, they just see and they're like, eh, I'm, they're using like second afterwards, like, yeah, I'm, I'm using your skills now. I, um, that's right. Yeah. And that's so, that's so great about the, the humans generally. Um, what, what's the next is that this one is a little bit spicy. <laughs> so w- what gun would you shoot if there's no CZ? CZ doesn't exist. What gun are you shooting? You go first. Khalil is playing for time. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, well, we, we'll add the dramatic we, we, music. We, we talked. We talked. Uh, we talked about it. I think last year, uh, my very first gun when I started was a Colt Officer. Oh yeah. So, yes, I'm, I'm like uh, corporate in this somehow. But I started with a Colt Officer, uh, so small gun for small hands, six rounds. It was 45 by the time, six rounds, 45 in my hand. So I was doing a lot of reloads. Yeah. So I'm still a fan of the 1911 platform. It's, I mean, nice. it's, it's, it's a great, it's a okay. great platform. It's a great gun. Uh, uh, it works. There's a lot, tons of manufacturers, tons of spare parts that you can find. So basically, you can even have your own gun not even branded at the end mm, of the day true. right yeah. you can have it your own gun because no one has the same oh, there, yeah. there, there would be a special branded you know sporting pistols eg you know instead of cz pistols from <laughs> oh. directly from eric why not <laughs> it might be one of the ways one you just don't find uh, the right partner for um, for your shooting you, you might be ending up like building your own platform build your own platform but that would be, be a lot of work <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah 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 i don't have those skills uh i'm one of the good skills i have it's actually destroying things there's some good <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, building yeah. i probably can build something you but i'm not sure it will be built you know properly yeah. or square i get you mm. i get you so how about you i would go with uh, a custom built 2011 so no oh really plan. okay yeah. nice that's nice. what i was using before it's easy so yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That so, makes sense. Yeah, we all agree that the uh, that design is timeless. It's just uh <laughs> it's like pretty much the same like CC seventy five. Yep. There is like so much great on that pistol, which I, I doubt that engineers like thought that time that that, that way, but there's like t- timeless kind of aspects of it which makes it so so great even today, right? <laughs> there's no reason to re engineer uh what makes the pistol work for now especially yeah. the internals as we know it's proven yeah being reliable it's it's like toyota cars right they, they suck at some aspects when it comes to the controls when it comes to the you know performance parts they don't have to change anything right they just do like a very slight very little updates they because they still sell great it's a great car yeah. everyone likes mm-hmm. it yeah yeah and also the human at anatomy d- don't change you know if it's once great working with your hands and everything oh, then yeah. it, w- the evolution is freaking slow you know <laughs> Cle- clearly we still have five fingers on the hands exactly so. oh, exactly yeah. yeah gentlemen speed versus accuracy <laughs> <laughs> ah this is the great one so what's what's your approach khalil I go more on speed. We know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's not even an answer. You are freaking blasting all over the place. Yeah, they call it spray and pray. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but um, what I'm working on right now is to be accurate. If it's uh, if the stage is demanding accuracy. Yeah. How how do you bring that aspect to your like blasting? To train like uh, how Eric trained me in. Uh, the EGCZ Academy. Yeah, um, let's get let's get to it because that's very interesting. Yeah, let's let's get the approach so of who, Eric. And who then came up with the idea to to join the trainings? To teach him to shoot yeah. accurate, or just to <laughs> teach him how to <laughs> shoot and uh, spray? To, to <laughs> teach him to shoot it at your academy, to to share the knowledge, to come up with the training together. Well, we have to make him come because. Uh, Let's say Khalil uh, shooting style it's it's one profile, and it works for some of the stages. Yes, but it doesn't work for all. It's not mm-hmm. adaptive. Okay, it's, mm-hmm. it's shooting one way. You can you can. Sorry for saying that this way, Khalil. But if you take one of the Formula One driver who was French, uh, Jean Alesi was very known to also uh, kind of go fast only, but at the end. Are n- it 
were not able to finish the race. He was, well, mm. he was missing Khalil the finished, endurance, right? Exactly. So yeah. Ka- Khalil is finishing the race, which is great. But we need to get him to a point where he's able to adapt to the situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, if that stage requires to be accurate, he needs to deliver accuracy. Mm-hmm. Uh, no matter what the skills, mm-hmm. he can rely on his speed. And even if he makes mistakes, the speed will cover the mistake. But that's not what we want. We need a profile that matches every situation so he can be even more flexible in the future. Yeah, mm-hmm. Th- This is one of the aspects which I find personally very hard to imagine. You guys are the best in the world. And how do you want to keep yourself prepared for the next challenge, right? Mm. Because, you know, mentally, it's a thing. You guys know you are the best. It's proven multiple times. And then you, I know, you are. You need to keep going. Let me just give you a cut. Yeah. You're saying we are the best. You say that. We don't believe that. We are not the best. We are the best because you guys said it. Mm. Oh. That's how we read it. Okay. Nice. So see the opposite way around. We are the best only when people are saying it. But in order to, for them to say that, we need to stay on track. So that means we oh. need to fight for every single time for your position. We are fighting to stay where we are. We are not never saying we are the best. Mm. Only the people are this doing is, it. This is the pure wisdom for me. Because um, this is very, very great. Um, that's what makes you champion. Simply, that's what really makes you champion. This this approach, this mental mental. That's set. probably what keeps us motivated to oh, keep yeah. working. Mm-hmm. Because oh, yeah. the day you Just set that you don't settle. Yeah, exactly. The day you set you, I'm there. I'm on top of my game. I'm mm-hmm. the best one. This is the very right mm-hmm. moment you're gonna fall. Mm-hmm. So um, let's go back to that training. Can can you kind of describe what was the what were the <laughs> techniques that Eric uh, used on you to actually achieve the bigger accuracy? Okay, so day one I was like spraying yep. all the time, and he saw me <laughs> get like two miss on one board because yeah. I did that over swing and then pop up two two miss, and he told me, "Oh, I understand. CZ is paying for your ammo, but I think they all want it in the board." Oh, okay. <laughs> the target, yeah. Yeah. yeah, mental information. The, <laughs> then he told me, "True. For oh, every yeah. miss, I'm gonna take a hundred rounds from your one thousand rounds every day." Oh, that <laughs> from that the hurts. training. So the, from the training, yeah. punishing by uh, like taking the joy of shooting yep. from you. And then he told me, "I can see you. We have a lot of cameras. We have in the front, back, the sides." <laughs> so I was like, "Oh my! I just need to shoot accurate." And I, my shots after that was like, <laughs> like that. I, I could. He was like big next, next to right? each other, one holders. <laughs> so oh, yeah. so yep. did it work? Yeah, it worked. Um, but then when I um, got back home, what I did is I tried to be right in the middle of how I shoot and how he shoots mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so I don't go way so, um, way fast and um, mess with the stage right and well. not too accurate and slow down the stage so yeah. something in the, mi- somewhere, somewhere in the something middle something in the middle somewhere in the yeah. middle yeah this is so generous for you uh, being a coach to Khalil I, I need to appreciate that um, you know you you could be just focused on yourself right i, I believe mm-hmm. we all have you know work to do and and uh, skills to train but this is very generous but we're part of the team and we work in the same way so uh it, it, the idea is most likely i'll die before him so someone has to take the relay at some point or some part of the group will take the relay on oh every yeah. position uh so we we need to make sure that we transfer for the older ones of the team Uh, and, and I'll say, I mean, Robin, our team, cap- team captain, is not getting younger either. He's, he's still young compared to me and Martin. But me and Martin, for example, we're getting old. Mm-hmm. So and, and Lubisha, same thing. Mm-hmm. So we need to prepare and help the the, the next generation of our team members yeah. to perform and deliver in order to stay where CZ stands today. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, if we're not doing that, we're also mm. not doing our job somehow. Oh yeah, yeah. W- w- What's so so uh, how was the training from your perspective training Khalil? I would say it's not easy to train <laughs> a guy to train a guy that has uh, such a potential in speed and trying to make him understand that at some point uh, he will need to shoot uh, accurate and explain him that shooting is placing a bullet in the center of a target and not all around the board. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So, so need to get there. I think his understanding is growing. He's not there at uh, uh, 
exactly where it could be yet because it doesn't have the the uh, proper reading i would say of of mm -hmm. point scoring and, and math uh also because he's clearly he's clearly the best in his division uh, even if he has uh, quite some good competitors that are like right at his tail mm -hmm. um, but the point is he has another year and a half to prepare and usually you get to understand that when you have to defend now so mm -hmm. you know when when you're chasing it you're chasing and you're in, uh, you're 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 fighting to get it so you need to be with longer teeth to grab your first title oh yeah now is the is is the target the defendant mm -hmm. is yeah. the defendant mm -hmm. so it's not the same strategy either yes you will have to win that yes you will have to sometimes strike and do some crazy shit on the stage mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. prove that you deserve the title again oh, yeah. but still the guys behind they are all running after him they are hungry yeah. it's a, just one guy defending against 20 30 40 guys who mm -hmm. might have the potential to win that title oh yeah, oh, yeah. So hearing something like that before the stage would definitely ruin me. <laughs> the, yeah. the, yeah, the it, guys hungry behind me and it's all about going the, after me. Yeah. Mental. Yeah, mental. Yeah. It's yeah. all about the, how, how you handle those situations. Did you find any inspiration in, in Khalil? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So he, he's, I, pushing, he's pushing me to review also my way of shooting. Um, I'm trying to evolve all the time because the stages are evolving. The, mm -hmm. And also where you shoot in the, in the world... Uh, it, 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 they have different styles. Uh -huh. So shooting in the Philippines, they they are very aggressive in their shooting stage design. Oh yeah, compared to what we have back in Europe. So very dynamic got, stages. Exactly. So <laughs> you, you need to yeah. be yeah. really. That was raised you, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's part of the Filipino culture, yep. I'd say, and, uh, and and this is what I like to when I travel uh to to suck a little bit what they do there yeah. to Different transfer designs. their exactly yeah. transfer it back at the home uh, at the academy try to put that uh now teach it to my son robin uh, -huh. uh say okay this is what they do over here this is what they do there so we need to uh -huh. be ready you need uh, you need to learn that thing you need to be learn also that way of shooting so uh -huh. when the day comes you can choose okay i'm gonna go that style because i believe that's the, that's the way to go mm -hmm. and uh so we discuss the mental preparation and mental game a lot. Does it get harder and harder each, with each title to defend the position? Because we know that you have nine stars on your chest mm -hmm. and a 10 is really cool number, you know? So <laughs> the 10th title is probably the, the one I, mean, I clearly, believe right? to be the hardest. Clearly, now. clearly for me, it's harder every... It, it, yeah, it's getting harder and harder. Uh, as I said, I'm getting older. That's one thing. Um, also, uh, if you take it on the mental side, uh, think about the guy who's going to beat me. And, and he will be the one able to say, hey, I got to beat Eric Grafell. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. the one who did that. Mm -hmm. So, and that in my head personally hurts. Like, mm -hmm. how will I be able to react to that? How will I react? How will I feel about that? I will face it. Um, yeah. uh, one good thing I prepared myself is I clearly want a younger one than me to beat mm. me. That's mm -hmm. for sure. That, oh, obviously. Yeah. I, I'm going to have a hard time if it's a super senior that beat my ass, for example. <laughs> oh, <I see>. Personally. <laughs> <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, that, that's one part. Also, I thought about a couple of times, said, okay, quit. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, that, that's one way out of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I witnessed Leave, this. Live. Really? Yeah, um, World Shoot 2017. Yeah, I think he had a hard time shooting that match. Yeah. Then he, right after the match, I told him, "I want to be like you when I grow up." Then he told me, "Oh, you're welcome because I'm I'm quitting. I'm really? stopping shooting." Yeah, wow! Nice. I didn't know. Oh. oh, and I'm still One here. But because you know, you know, it's hard when you're competitor to yes. stop. Uh -huh. so you need, you need, you need that pressure you Always need that the adrenaline we saw that many times that the top level you're, sportsmen you're addicted, right? wanted to quit their careers and they come back two years later because they cannot live without it yes there were uh, michael mm -hmm. schumacher yeah that we talked and, about and, him he and, did that too you're just I, addicted to adrenaline and exactly all the, yeah and there's a there's a there's a plan i'm, I'm still going for the tense one at some point uh, but there is two options uh open it's like okay next world shoot will be the 10th one for me if i win uh 
but that's not the one when I get to senior. I'm 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 willing to try senior and senior overall back mm-hmm. in my game. Mm-hmm. That's that's really what I want. Uh, but that if I shoot the next one, that will be my eleventh one. Mm-hmm. So I either say, okay, why not making a pose? Just keep shoot, keep shooting matches all around, mm-hmm. all around the world, but not the world shoot. So I'm not the defender anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I'm the chaser. Okay. Place mm-hmm. yourself in the chase situation instead of right. being a defender so mm-hmm. situation. Yeah, this position is always better, right? And go to go to the matches where you have world champions and put them under pressure. See how they react because they are defending uh, the title. Mm, I'm, right. not, I'm not the one holding like the title. Like to be like a little devil on the shoulder, right? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the I'm one I'm chasing you. Like, wow. <laughs> you know, so d- you can play. It, you can play the game in different ways. Oh yeah. So I like the approach. There are plenty yeah. ways to. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But you are clearly thinking about thinking about it. So that's uh, that's a great approach. Oh, How yeah. about you, Khalil? Do do you find it more and more? stressful to compete or you're still just p- doing your game and uh, nothing mm. nothing except uh, no, notes about your <laughs> weight can throw you off it's my first overall title so so i don't know how it feels yet yet to be yeah. the defender yeah but you, you yeah, were but a junior yeah yeah junior. champion so you get the grasp yeah, of um, the defender position yeah still pushing on training um, but recently i've been a little bit soft like what I told you but now I need to go back on hard trainings mm-hmm. so that winning the world shoot would be not as hard as last time because <laughs> just want to make it easier yeah okay that's um, the motivation to make winning a bit easier all right fingers crossed man uh, let's leave the heavy topics for uh, for a minute what do you guys enjoy the most uh, on shooting because you know you, you shoot a lot of rounds You know, you have a blisters on your hand. I'm, I'm pretty sure that there is also negative aspects of it. There's people having like a, like a tennis elbows. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly, right. But there must be still an aspect you love about the actual, sh- actual act of the shooting. What is it? Hmm. Honestly, personally, I like breaking guns. I like when I <laughs> end up my, I, I end up my training, my gun is dead, oh. and then. I call I call the guys at the factory. Say, guys, I broke that. Damn, Eric, why do you do that? Well, because I'm I like it. Because I like it. I enjoy <laughs> pushing the limit of 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 my equipment so that I know what I can do and what I can't. Can I trust it all the way up to here? Mm-hmm. That's personally what I like. So sometimes I really, I mean, I'll tell you that. They, w- they will hate me at the factory. But anyway. <laughs> all right. So, we did not long time ago. Shoot, 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 shoot. The gun gets so hot. Mm-hmm. How do we cool it down? Oh, okay, we use the fan. All right. Let's cool. Let's Boy. use water. Pshhh. One time. <laughs> Pshhh. Two time. Pshhh. Three time. But oh. it's wet. It's sick. It's shit. So, you know what we do? We use also these... Um, uh, CO2 gas for which oh, is high the, the compressed air or Com- something like that not compressed air compressed air is actual air temperature oh, yeah. so it's actually iced hair so it goes <laughs> but it's dry yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, the yeah. gun didn't like it too much I must say <laughs> of course there was like <laughs> great temperature shock right <laughs> <laughs> but it worked for at least several thousand rounds I think I saw one of your pistols like having the barrel like with completely changed color, like bluish. <laughs> <Yes>. like, <laughs> and That's another example that and, why they don't like me at the factory. And, yeah, once there is there, there is a like technical information in your head about like what causes what temperature causes the change of that color <laughs> permanently, you know, you have an idea that someone fucking shot lots of rounds through it and did something like as you as you said. So yeah, this is I, I I really push my stuff all the way, and and I and I was talking like just as an example uh, to Dylan the other day, and I was like, okay, I want to see, I clean my machine, and I want to see how many rounds I can reload without a cleaning. So just uh-huh. a little bit of an air spray, regrease the parts. Mm-hmm. Now my machine looks shit. There's like dust 
degree stuff mixed between you know powder carbon, and everything carbon, 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 carbon all uh, yeah, everywhere yeah. Mm -hmm. on the shell plate and everything but the numbers that say it's on the screen because I'm loading on the uh, on the drive on the Siemens drive actually the number says 166,000 rounds reloading without a single cleaning Whoa. so the machine is set pretty pretty well so I don't have too much spilling and everything but I haven't cleaned it so I nev I haven't changed the spring you're just adding oil I just adding oil that's very impressive what yeah <laughs> I expected yeah. like uh, like one third or one it's it's I was amazed also myself I was like damn and I was t telling my son Robin I say hey that's about more than a year we didn't clean the machine he said yeah something like that all right Let's go into the setup and check. Ta, 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 ta. Holy shit! Sixty-six thousand. <laughs> nice, hey, nice. Gentlemen, we all talk to people, and we have like end users coming in as like, it's a great pistol. I haven't cleaned it up for like two, three thousand shots, and it's still doing good. You know, it's like yeah, it's a great pistol. You know, but this is like out of, well, that, out that's, of that's space. That's that's we're reloading. Man. Well, for cleaning, for cleaning, we have also we use sand blasting uh, with plastic. So me and my son, we don't. For training, we don't strip the whole gun down. We go into the chamber with the sandblast machine, get there. What? And then oil, let's go shoot, let's go. So <laughs> sometimes you shoot the first couple of rounds, you see some some you know plastic pellets falling off the, the gun a little bit and you're good to go. What? <laughs> but you can literally jam your gun, right? It's training, who cares? It's a, it's it's part of actually- <laughs> yeah, You would train like a hey, if solving- it jams, the... solve it. You still have to execute the plan. I got you, I got you. Whoa. <laughs> so Eric just likes to break stuff. <laughs> nice. What's your approach? What, what do you enjoy the most? Um, about shooting? Uh -huh. um, customizing my gun. Oh, mm, yes. Okay. Pimp my right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Putting a fancy, gri a fancy grip, magwo, different uh, thumb wrist. So, so you want to make it like ex looking exceptional or... Because yeah. <laughs> you, you cannot really make it because once you guys are breaking the guns, uh, you know, we, we all see like those custom like duct tape kind of changes on, on the guns or like you are <laughs> randomly adding the duct tape on, on your hand because you know you, you are getting the blast from from the ejection port or mm -hmm. something uh but oh really Th that's interesting yeah because um, in the philippines yeah the gun culture or, i mean the sport shooters love customizing i mean gun, everyone like, kind of likes it right making it like really easy to use okay yeah, yeah so just to make it better so with the, with the standard, they like it really heavy, so that there's no almost no recoil. And the recoil spring is that short, so they probably on a, <laughs> let's say a 15 coil spring, they cut 13 out of it, so they use a two coil spring. So, so that's it. Yeah. And what's the what's the ratio of uh, making it uh, like better or just looking different? Um, like the flex, you know. No, it's like a f it's like 50 /50. I like it. I, um, I like the gun to look better. And okay. perform as well. Yeah, perform. So it's a, it sounds that uh, you actually like your gun, not like Eric. <laughs> <laughs> to, I, I like it. my gun. I like my gun. Um, no, I'm not no, saying. But, but you like but it broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So 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 does it happen that, for example, before you go for dry fur or something like that, that you take it out of the closet and then you just play with it, you know, look at it, polish it, like hey, I yeah. pimp, I pimp, pimped it really well. Especially when it's newly painted, because sometimes yeah. um, we seracote our guns. Mm -hmm. So. If, uh, uh, if the coating is you, sometimes you just don't want to use it. Use your old one for training and... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's what I'm okay. talking about. That's okay. what I'm talking about. I got you. So you keep the one for the dirty job or <laughs> yeah. for the heavy lifting and then you have another one for yeah. like, the, you know, show up time. Yep. Yeah. Nice. So it, um, sometimes I don't use it at all. I just sell it. Yeah. Like the, the beautiful gun that, I, that we tuned and colored. I don't use it. We just, sell it. We just like looking at it. Oh, I see. I see. Because we have that's a different. Approach. We have lots of lots of uh, guys like tuning the guns, where it doesn't really make sense, but it looks cool, right? So uh, and it's like, yeah, but this is this is like not technically or not not performance no, it, based. It needs it's to just, perform. No, but it looks cool, man. It's just, I just love it to 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 be different, right? 
We, we uh, I mean, Carl loves all those M lock uh, wooden wooden grips yeah, or w- wood <laughs> panels on M lock. Yeah, love wood it. panels on M lock on the AR15, for instance. <laughs> I was like, I was like, man, what the hell? What? The hell? I love it. Don't, so don't, I love don't it. do it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Come on, you don't want to lift in the in the in a crate, you know, uh, made of concrete with, I know. with the cold I know. walls and cold ground. You need a touch of wood, you know. You need to <laughs> but, <laughs> but feel comfortable yeah, there. This is what is so beautiful about the community. Everyone likes something different, so that's what I appreciate because um, it must be like total total waste of time for for someone, but the other guy totally loves it mm-hmm. and, and <laughs> willing to spend money and you know this is so cool and, and I need it. Great. What is the device lying on a table right in front of you? Aha! The white stuff. The white stuff. It's uh, VR. So okay. we are here you're you're playing now. games a it, lot. It's uh, <laughs> it's actually a, a company we we met at the shot show called Aced Virtual Shooting, and uh, they brought up a system where you use your um, your virtual goggles and where they can recreate a stage. Uh, with of course different training situation and so on so on so on okay. but the, the the top of that is of course they have different different pistol different target USPSA IPSC and, and just training regular training so that you can work on but recently I was uh, we were trying uh, with Robin my son in an open space so you can actually have an, uh, a safe area open And then like when you are when you're putting the goggles, you're within the stage, so you you can see the fault lines, you can see the markings, where are the limits, and so on, so on, and you move actually. Mm. Uh, so you have all the stage. barricades, barricades, mm. movements, and you can move like three, four, five, ten meters uh, within the stage, uh, r- remaining within the the, the designated area. Okay, uh, which is fun because you you realize that you um, were shooting. And he started leaning out on, on one side and it's like, damn, what the hell is he doing? And when I shot the stage, so we were at the corner with the barricade, you had to lean out so that you can see a target, oh, yeah. but, they, but they were nothing in the room. So it's, <laughs> yeah, it's kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. freaking weird, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but when you are there, you really forget everything. You, you, you have the sound, you have the vision, you turn your head, you're actually turning the, the image, what you see, you're inside the yeah, stage. Yeah, like very special state of mind. It's unbelievable. You can simulate mag change, draw. Um, right now, the gun is um, it's just a simulation, but they're going to build us a, a Shadow 2 version of that pistol that we can see here. Okay. Uh, can we but try already it? Inside, inside here, what, what I shoot now is a Shadow 2. I got a right. Shadow 2 optic ready inside, same as, fr- fairly the same as, as this, and I can choose the optic based on different optics they have Whoa. here already mm. in, in stock in their database uh-huh. so I can uh-huh. I can really reproduce fairly what I have in the real world of course you don't get recall you don't get but you get already a reading if, if especially for sport shooters competitive shooters you can actually easily train strategy and you can change the the uh, stage very quickly There you can go for hundreds of, stage. of stages There are tons of stage already right. inside here and practice uh, drills and stuff And, um. and but as I said, it's there. You can already do some part of the job. It's not everything. It's not dry fire. It's not live fire. But it's an extra tool that you can use to actually uh, perform and improve your skills. Yeah, can, I personally can, tried it. We we had the privilege to be on the same dinner together. Yeah, and uh, while waiting for the for the meal. Uh, I, I tried it and it's great. You forget about things. Exactly. And you uh, were into it. That yeah. was so funny to see you. Yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then you you like hit the board and then you then you have uh, optic popped up on, on the pistol. Oh. And then you can choose the model and, and then like oh yeah, there's a It was like a like a blink uh, stage with all the plates, all the all the targets, yeah, yeah, so swingers, trials, trials, everything. Trials. Like so many targets, yeah. so you are getting lost there. You, you don't know what to shoot first, and they're like bang, 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 bang. And we got that now. So we didn't shoot much during the show. So prior to the show, I got the system about 10 days with me, and I had a meeting with the company who built that ace, uh, who built the system, and and they said, "Wow, damn it, Eric." What did you do with the gu- with, with the gun and the system? You shot 18,000 rounds in 10 days. I was like, what? Not me. My son, yes, for sure. I shot some. I shot probably two or three thousand. Okay. But 
we shot in 10 days with different people yeah. uh, passing on the family and all the people we, we got to meet to try just to give it a try 18,000 rounds in 10 days can you imagine yeah it's really yeah. squeezes that's crazy it but you, you still practice you, you still practice the aiming and I figured out when I shot iron sight in there I'm actually closing one eye <laughs> I'm I'm yes, I, yes I, for I, the hard shots I'm like, hey, I have to aim. Close one <laughs> yeah, exactly. eye. But you know, you're in the virtual yeah, world, so nobody sees that you're closing one eye, but you're closing the eye so that you can actually focus on your sight and get the shot done properly far. I mean, mm. this one doesn't forget anything, right? No. You, you, you need to work hard for, uh, for the sight alignment yep. and to be able to hit the target. Yep. It's not like a game. It's not like, uh, you know, Call of Duty or something like that, where Correct. you have just a cross or something and Correct. blasting over the place, hitting, hitting targets. But you need to work for that. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Sh should we try it on right now? You uh, want me to turn it on for you, Cal? Yeah. All right. You, I you want try it. it. Right. <laughs> great. Like, give me a Man, sec. you will love it. Yeah, yeah. I love the aspect uh, of that. That it, it takes you from the reality. You are yeah. you are still training your uh, your uh, skills, but you are uh, you are basically gaming. Mm -hmm. So we all consider gaming as a, as a fun. Right, yeah. so it's the, the time when you are off, when you are um, basically enjoying your, your free time. You, you want to forget about business, forget mm -hmm. about uh, like everyday things, yep. and you are gaming. And this is the extra point where you have the training involved, or you, you know, we, we can all say that we all know gamers, right? Yeah. More or less, uh, they have skills, mm -hmm. but they have different skills. I mean, reaction time. Uh, the communication skills yeah. once they once they go in the teams, uh, so you can gain from it a lot. And as Eric mentioned, eighteen thousand shots, <laughs> yeah. uh, you can only gain from it. And ha have you tried it, Khalil? Yeah, I tried the planking stage. Oh yeah. Then uh, I actually um, got to train the far targets because you have small plates there, right? Uh -huh. The far ones. Then I was like aiming and then prepping the trigger. Yeah. So, what do you think about the future of this? Are are you are you about to add this to your training plan or something? Yeah, of course. Yeah, because uh, you won't feel uh, you won't feel that you're working. You, you know, you know what I find interesting about you that you are still running the iron sights. Yeah, yeah, of course. Switch over here. So I need to go <laughs> at your place. Yeah. Get, okay. Get here. So All you can right. come over to yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah, so so Eric is, is actually running the podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> I come with you, man. Alrighty. Yeah, but uh, b before the the guys settle, uh, ha have you been thinking about the switching to optics? Yeah, but um, my my boss my boss won't let me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you now we are stuck with the, with the division, right? And, uh, he, he wants me to uh, win uh, more titles. The gun is in front of you, Carol. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, Just uh, you see some targets. Set, set the mic. Not yet. Not yet. It's bl it's black. Uh, three dots lining up. Ah, now I see you through yeah. the through the camera. Woo! Yeah. Set the mic. Okay. Do I hear it? You will probably need to shoot one-handed. Left-handed, wow. probably. No, no, <laughs> not really. Situation. So I see a screen here in front of me. I'm pointing at it with. Do my you see? Do you see Ace down on the screen, or do you see on the um, on the no, right? No, it's it's just a black screen. Phil oh, Horizon no. is written on it. Hold oh, no. on. Yeah, yeah come over and. Eric will fix it for you. Yeah. So, uh, Caleb, in the meantime, what division do you enjoy the most, aside of the standard? Open. Open. Yeah. <laughs> Do you use it for training to, to, yeah, gain, to um, gain speed or I, gain speed? No, this is a funny my, topic. For my personal training, I don't use open. But um, when I teach at home... Uh, oh, you have open guys, so obviously. Uh, yeah, even they're not shooting open. I try to teach them while I'm using an open gun. Oh, I got you. I got you. Or a production optic gun. So that would be possibly mm -hmm. your, your second division to join uh, if there is no standard or if, if yeah. there is like oh, yeah. cha open, changing yeah. rules or something. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. yep. All right, we, we got Carl plugged in. Oh. <laughs> Can you place this on my head also? Do you see something? Yes, where's the microphone? Oh, here it is. Yeah, so we have Carl like oh my God. Guessing, guessing the future. Please record this, this is amazing. Carl, what do you see? Tons of targets. Can I shoot you? Oh my God. <laughs> bang -a, bang -a. Oh damn! <laughs> oh yeah, nice. So, oh, Carl, this is so if, I'm cool, not, man. if I'm not mistaken, you're shooting iron sight right now, right? Yes. And if you turn your head to the left, 
Turn your head to your left. If you watch the left, oh. you can see some sights. <laughs> ah, here we go. Hello All right. So do I shoot it to Sh change it? Sh exactly. Choose one sight. Woo! Now you have optic ready. <laughs> That's so cool. And now you Guys, can shoot. Guys, I, I really wish you could can see you that. Can you describe the gun you see inside uh, there? Of course. It's a standard Shadow 2. Yeah, optics no. ready now. Uh -huh. I see. So extended, it's a blue, ver extended. blue version. Yeah, it's a blue version with extended mech plate. Uh, yeah, it's just just like a real. It's unbelievable. Cool, mate. Really. Right. So now shoot, shoot some rounds. Yeah. Oh man, you're hitting the target. I need, I need that for Link's brutality. Oh, of course, I'm hitting look, all of the targets. Look at his damn face. <laughs> He's yeah. like, Ooh, give me more, give me more. Oh, yeah. We we actually posted a picture well, of of myself on the dinner. Like, do I reload it somehow, you or can, you, it's just infinite? No, it's, yeah, we put it on infinite for now. Okay. Uh, but if you want, just press the mag release. Press yeah. the mag Whoa. release, it will fall. <laughs> now, tap, it popped tap, out. Tap, tap it back in. Oh, it's back! And now you can shoot again. Oh, nice. That's so this sweet. This is cool. Man, there are like uh, the banners <laughs> saying EGCZ everywhere. Oh, it's, it's branded. <laughs> it's even branded. The nice. stage is branded. Nice. Now we now we can see like Carl dealing with uh, multitasking, right? <laughs> we are just mad. We can do we cannot really do a lot of multitasking, right? This is something for women. <laughs> they can do really good. It's so easy, man. It makes it, everything so easy. Yeah, we will really try to easy. edit uh, some some recordings for, uh, from this one and uh, put it um, to the corner of, of of the visual so everybody can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that we need this. <laughs> Yeah, man, I need that. I'm not a gamer myself. Uh, I don't have time for no, that. No, me but either, but this you, is something else. Can you imagine just playing with this before you go to sleep? Yes, yes. What? And and the thing is... I think I could even persuade, you know, the girl you have come over. <laughs> <laughs> you come from the bar, so what are we going to do next? Well, have you seen this VR? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she will, can shoot it. <laughs> she will be nice and prepared, and, and you, will be, you will be freaking dry firing. And the far ones? Oh, it's you like need to work nothing. for that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they planning to add recoil to this? Like, uh, well, for now, for now, is they are busy developing the the system um, more stages because it's it's an online community. So they're okay. adding stages, mm -hmm. uh, basically in the system. You subscribe uh, to their feed so that you okay. can have uploaded and new stages every week with some okay. contest every week and so on. So like, it's a plan that you have. Uh, probably the next uh, next generation will be yeah mate why not CO two guys operated or oh yeah uh, you know it's there's there's plenty of ways we can go oh yeah with this so I can imagine like like the potential of this one like a leak or you know of course yeah exactly yeah, yeah. and and you know push push the the thing even further out make a contest between uh, gamers. Exactly. Oh, and exactly. actual shooters. Oh, exactly. That would I be can something. Imagine. That's I can a great imagine idea. They're gonna because be a people be really. Be because really we are we are on the edge it. here between the gamers, where you know people will shoot, 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 and they train oh. and they, they, they set their skills and bring the top guy shooters mm -hmm. uh, to a contest where they they play a real gun uh, and they have to perform here and deliver. And oh, yeah. we are very very close to what we have in the reality. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely, no doubt about it. Because oh. you can put you can put the reload mandatory reload after the fifteen rounds if you want. Or do I mean, I mean, the technology is still there. We we already have like um, like a recall devices on the airsoft guns. Yep. We, you know, there's an air leak. Correct. I mean, it's it's pretty pretty new uh, in the place where I come from. Um, but there is a uh, air gun or what, IPSC air or. I'm not sure what's the exact name, but we have kids running around with <laughs> the air Look at his face, he's like, Whoa, I love it. <laughs> Just leave yeah. me alone with this for the rest of the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing is that we are not gamers. No. Uh, but seeing this, we are we are back in. So last time I played the game was like in a school, I, I believe. It's As I said, it's, a, it's, it's, uh, it's not, uh, it's shooting, but, but <laughs> it's a tool. Back. It's a tool to uh, actually implement skills. There's some drills about accuracy. There's some drills about speed. Uh, is, that some, is that something that we can use for uh, armed forces? Because when they can't shoot? Yes, I would say yes. Do you need to train uh, a lot? No, you can use that every day. Yes. Uh, imagine the police uh, in some countries when they don't have time to get to the range. Why not do a short session of just uh, bullseye shooting? Or, Man, this or, is a solution know. for you while traveling. 
Yeah, exactly. You, you can really bring your gun to the Iba and, and uh, or you know arrange like a range session in here. You yeah. can you can do this. Yeah. So right. so imagine. Uh, Eric just waiting for his flight at the airport with <laughs> this in his hand. Then yeah. the VR on his well, face. Like the problem with this one, it needs to be in the and the, um, what, in the, the gun, luggage. Yeah, the gun yeah. had to be. Uh, actually, that was a good try for me uh, coming here because I flew and uh, I, I showed that to the check-in. I said, "Listen, guys, it's not a gun, but it looks like a gun. What do you? How do you see that coming?" Uh, well, they said, "Put it in luggage. To you. We'll we'll do it the same procedure as a real gun." Uh, oh, the, right. the, oh right. uh, because it looks like it. It looks like it, and it will show actually when we X-ray it. Uh, it was visible as a as a gun, like a general shape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. So it went through the exact same procedure as a, a as traveling uh, a pistol. Yeah, but imagine for us, you know, as a shooters. Once you want to like organize a training, you are rebuilding the stages. We all know how complicated it is. You need to move stuff physically to rebuild the stage, mm -hmm. move the targets, replace them, you know, cover them up. This is like within the blink of an eye, right? Yeah, you yeah just, exactly. You just switch the different stage and yeah. you are on. Yeah. Imagine how efficient you can be with that one, like 10 minutes a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You, ju you just, just switch, switch it on. You don't have time to, to get to the range. You can use that. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Want to switch the seats or yeah, you want to? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I need to put my eyes on it. I mean, not my hands, but put my eyes into it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, and I, I'm really, I'm, I'm jealous on you know right now <laughs> because I would love to have some, some a little, it's little trigger time it's myself. Great. We need that. We need that. So whoever made it, we need it. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's it's uh, well. We are open to conversation. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, fun, fun, well, fun. Well, we are actually discussing so that you know the the process, but we are discussing of bringing. EGCZ Academy is doing matches competition now uh -huh. uh, uh, at the academy, and the, the idea why, why we brought that is that if you can't come to the EGCZ Academy because whatever reason, mm -hmm. well, after the match we can propose you to shoot the stages that you you haven't shot. Oh yeah. So bring also something up the game. Say, hey, that was the match. What we shot in 2023. This is what we are uh, shot 2024 after the match. So nobody get to see it before. But yeah. there's a the second contest, and you can actually why not uploading the scores of the shooters that were here oh, yeah. into the system so that you can compare yourself yeah. into it. So it's pretty cool. It's great. You, you can brand the stages. I mean the stage designs like War 2017 or something. Exactly. Design it, exactly. and people will shoot the same stage as you did. Yeah. Because I believe we well, all find the videos, right? Can, can you imagine that there would be also this like shadow of Eric Raffle, how he actually shot it, oh. so you can you can compare yourself yeah, to yeah. it? Yeah, We all had those, those uh, you know race car uh, yeah, you know, yeah. simulations. Exactly. Oh. There's, there's, there's stones of tons of potential possibilities. Oh, yeah. Exactly, and they, you know, Khalil would shoot it one way, so you can shadow Khalil, you can shadow I don't know Robin Shabo, you can shadow me. Oh yeah, so the, and they, you're gonna be called Shadow too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. So, Great. talking of that, hey guys. By the way, if you're watching, but this is the uh, new Shadow 2 Orange uh, facelifted. So we have uh, the now the optic ready cuts uh, and also the uh, serrations on the back. This was new for uh, Iowa 2024. If you miss it, and of course you heard about it probably with the guys, but the Shadow 2 Compact is the new hot cookie uh, from us at the CZ. So we have. Uh, the aluminum frame, 15 rounds magazine, uh, smaller, lighter, four-inch barrel. It's actually 35% lighter than the uh, original Shadow 2. Yeah, like so 700 grams, right? Exactly, 850 actually. Oh, oh, nice. Something like that. And 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 basically, it's it's a sport racing gun. So it has everything you have in your Shadow 2, but it's on the dimension of a concealed carry pistol so that's really the gun that you can actually and carry and shoot at the range so if you don't have one i <laughs> recommend that you go and and get yourself one it's a great fantastic gun oh yeah we have a lots of people asking like what is the purpose of that pistol you know because cz is known for making guns for for the purpose right yep. you have like a typical service gun a little race gun blah 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 but this is more like a lifestyle pistol it's See? a life, it's a clearly lifestyle yeah. pistol. It's like, you know, you 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 uh, we you you you're buying a car for your weekends. You you say, "Oh, a two or a motorbike." And uh, 
All right, exactly. Um, let's take it out today, or your, you know, a lot of people have an Arley, for example. It's a good example, the Arley. Uh, you drive your car every day in the week, but during the weekend you're driving your motorcycle, right? Oh, yeah. Well, here, that's that's the exact same thing. This is something that you actually, let's say, carry during your weekdays, and that's the one that you're going to bring to the range during the weekend, and it's and it's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. it, it's something that at the start when they brought the concept, and that's like. Why are we doing a concept carry? This is not the orientation we... I mean, for steel frame gun. Oh, yeah. And they said, yeah, that makes sense. That will work. <laughs> that will definitely work. You know, I was not in the idea of that first and that it will work. And guess what? Today, at least in France, I can tell, uh, owning a gun store, I'm selling more Shadow 2 compacts than I'm just selling Shadow regular Shadow 2s. Yeah. Yep. Majority yeah. of people are doing it for, for lifestyle. Exactly. Yeah, and it looks great, it, it performs. It's I was also very skeptical when I saw it for the first time, but then you fell in love with it. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it, it, it's a cool looking gun. Yeah. yeah. It's a cool yeah. looking gun. It's nice. Yeah, as, as Arnold says, it's a nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's about that. Yeah, yeah. So, should we go for the questions from Instagram? From, yes, from yes, the go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Do you have it recorded? Yeah, I, I wrote it over here. So the one of the first question was for you, Eric. So how did you come up with the way how you hold the gun? How did you figure out that grip of yours? I didn't, I, I didn't figure it out. Uh, uh, as earlier I said, I, I, I've, learned, I've learned a lot from my history uh, watching Rob Litham, uh, Jerry Barnard, and all these guys from that generation, Jerry Mistrelik as well. And um, I had a mix, a kind of a mixed combo of everything they said. If you look at Jerry, um, Rob Latham, sorry, he's like, you don't need to hold the gun to, to be accurate. So you can hold the gun shit as long as you press the trigger mm -hmm. and you aim properly, it will hit, which mm -hmm. is true. Mm -hmm. Holding the gun, basically, it's only for the recoil control. How soon... The, the, the gun will return in battery in front of you yes. so that you can pull the next shot. Mm -hmm. So the grip has nothing to do of how you pull and how you aim, right? Yeah. And then I looked at the different options between some, some of the guys like, all right, let's squeeze sideways, let's squeeze backward, let's, let's squeeze all around the gun, apply, apply forces, uh, more less forces here, more forces with your left hand. Um, uh, like bend your hand, your weak hand uh, forward. Um, I think Bob Bogle is actually in the, in the style of, mm -hmm. of you know rotating pushing. his wrist yep. and pushing, and also like uh -huh, squeezing okay. sideways. Oh, I see. Okay. And I'm like, wow, that's like that? too complicated for me. Should, I need it Carlo, simple. Can you show me with the with the gun? How Rob? Push, uh, yeah, yeah, like what, what? pushes the gun inside and with all his force. So elbows coming out. Elbows yep. out. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And, yeah. and but that really also depends what caliber you use what, what caliber you shoot and yeah. so on but at the end I, I reckon that power factor the alignment of my basically the gun if we look at here the, al the alignment of uh, the, the gun hand wrist forearm uh, makes a huge difference for me so if I, if I go here let's go here if I go here if you look now at my arm now I'm aiming if you look at my hand, arm, and gun, you can see that it's aligned. So I'm not, I'm not the guy that comes in this position like a lot of people yep. are mm -hmm. having this position. Now the gun is like this, but you have an angle on your wrist yep. and, your, and your forearm is slightly lower. And then of course, creating like an easier rotation of your gun. So mm -hmm. I, re I realized that if the whole system is fairly aligned, you don't need to apply much force yep. and make your life easy. And let's be honest, the gun will move. Yep. No matter yeah. what you yeah. do, the mm -hmm. gun will move. So it's, it's actually based on personal preference mm. or acceptance. What do you consider to be a decent movement, an acceptable movement oh, yeah. uh, for your gun? And you stick to that. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. just, just for the record, all the guns are, um, have been inspected. They are all safe. Actually, these are show guns, so all the firing pins are removed or shortened. Yep. So, so no violations of safety whatsoever. Okay, so for all, all of those you out there in the comment so now, section. <laughs> now, now you cut like 50% of the comments under the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I purposely made it like this. Uh, all right. Yeah, so. Khalil, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious, uh, curious about your approach. Mm. Because, for instance, you are using um, 
the, the trigger guard uh, for support, correct, right? Correct. That's like very typical. Small hands. I got small hands, and since I need to go as high as possible yeah. onto the gun, but don't Kyle have much was choice. a little bit different story. You're running major, yep. 40, right? Different yeah. pistol, different balance. And I have a thumb rest. You have a thumb rest. Yeah. Uh, do you like the original one on the orange, or do you have your? I own? like this one, but I have some something wider. With oh the yeah, 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 yeah. There's some more, more uh, customization. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, but, uh, your, but your art? your hands are not big, man. Not so big. Not yeah, so big. and also with, with the new design of the safety on, on the TS. Yeah, I like this one because of the thumb rest. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it creates so, more so space. So don't hit my. You can push your uh, push your up. hand yep. uh, up more up or higher. Actually, I, I removed um, those uh, those uh, safeties and I use it on my shadow too. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Because uh, you know my hands are slightly bigger, and I yes. like it because it you can you can put your uh, weak weak hand. You know, I'm lefty. I now you know disabled blah blah <laughs> blah. But uh, but these these safeties are helping me because you know in the production division you, you don't have to work with safety right. Yep. But you have additional thumb rest. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, not exactly. I'm not sure exactly. actually if it's allowed. Uh, it is allowed. It is allowed. Yeah. I'm using yeah. actually. Uh, <laughs> Extended safety on both sides myself. Yeah, mm. I'm good. <laughs> so, so Khalil, what's, what's your way of holding the gun? Um, I use 50-50% on the pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but I push hard with my left thumb on the thumb rest. Mm -hmm. I That's how you develop those splits with the 40. Yeah. This is like crazy. But no even one with, really. with um, accurate shots, if I don't push down hard on the thumb rest, I, I don't know why, but I have um, you more should, pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I showed up. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know and the more best. Shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but everyone else for you know for I, uh, observer, push, just push down. You hard. see those splits on on the short targets, like brip, 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 <laughs> with, with those forties. Uh, oh, this yep. is something else. Yep. This is something else. Let's let's try it out, guys. What, you know. Doing the splits is easy. <laughs> it's getting the two hits, the second hit in the board, which becomes different. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah because yeah, I can yeah, also yeah. send the two out. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, if they're gonna get here or if they're gonna get like that. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. With the forty, I like um, I mastered the timing already. Mm -hmm. I okay. even practiced twenty meters with a double tap, where I get <laughs> to practice the predictive shooting. What? But only in training. On static, right? It's static. Um, static. Yeah. 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 Um, it helps me um, um, use that skill to be like an aim assist when doing reactive shooting. So yeah. <laughs> aim assist. Yeah. So you you purposely need to add aiming, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like please please uh, turn on the aim assist. I'm <laughs> I'm in trouble. I'm <laughs> like um, I don't um, take um, my skill with uh, uh, predictive shooting. Okay. Uh, they don't take it uh, for granted. Mm -hmm. Like you, you do it in matches where you get misses. Uh -huh. I just use it uh, as an as assist to aim faster. I see, I see. On hard targets. Yeah. But what's what's your modifications on a gun? So you, you um, are the 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 pimp my ride guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, brass grips, m uh, brass magwell. So you even so heavier. Yeah. yeah. So you add oh, weight yeah. to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Physics. Yep. Um, and uh, wider thumb breast. Uh, and my thumb breast at home has the same angle with a deep bronze uh -huh. but it's wider so I cut my right side safety uh -huh. so yeah. that I have a wide um, left side and wide thumb rest. I, I see totally makes sense yeah do you see we already asked Eric uh, I believe last year but do you feel any like physical or like injuries coming from the shoot because this pistol is heavy already mm -hmm. yeah. you, you, you added more weight I had one last year with my middle finger on my right side because of the gripping. Oh, so you've been so tight with, 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 yep. the, with the middle finger. Then okay. with the recoil, because it's a 40, so I only train 200, 300 rounds. Oh, I see. Per hour. <laughs> <laughs> per training. <laughs> He's quiet, so... I yeah. would have say per minute for him. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. Full auto mode. Oh, great. Yeah, but now it's good. It's all good. Yeah. You have another question? Of uh, course, of course. Yeah. So there's a question for both of you, of course. Uh, what do you focus on while shooting a stage? The stage plan. Stage plan, just stage the, the, plan. The, the execution process of, the stage of plan. shooting. Okay. So it's not like with the Top Gear when the stick is riding with the car and the crazy music is playing in the background usually. <laughs> so it's not like you're going on autopilot. You have to be focused. Yeah, you need to focus. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, remember in Thailand um, when I asked for an advice for the last day? Uh -huh. He told me, talk to yourself while you're shooting. Like you go straight to the, the steel Ooh. target and Khalil, sight, aim, prep, then fire. Oh, oh, I see. Wow, okay. 
Yeah, you're not alone in help. your world. Yeah, you, you have to remind you. Otherwise, we're human. We forget. That's mm-hmm. what yeah. we do. We forget. So. Some, I, I have listened to one of the podcasts with Joe Rogan, and he's uh, like a big fan of the archery. Uh, and there was uh, like a master in, in the archery, uh, like really good in uh, target shooting. And they like developed a like, very specific method of the mental preparation. Um, and I'm trying to, to gain from it. But uh, you physically need to say the word. So, so they have developed like a, like a method, um, as I mentioned already. But you are supposed to like, like create like a very specific space for you or situation for you where you like prepare your your mental to for the actual execution and they have created like a word you say which brings that that state of mind Mm -hmm. sounds like hypnosis like now or yeah but that's 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 that's, uh positioning yourself in a certain environment uh what we're doing it is uh the, you you falling into what you call subconscious in your side. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are actually doing it consciously, uh, meaning that coming into one position, what is the focus uh, on, on this specific position? So mm-hmm. you just remind you. It's like a sh- making a short life briefing. Mm-hmm. Coming into here, I need to focus that steel mm-hmm. and that two particular shot on the paper target because I believe they are hard oh, for me. Yeah. So mm-hmm. consciously, you're making the decision and, and reminding your brain, this is the two focus I mm-hmm. need on that position and then when it's done, click, move, getting into the next one, like mm. another short briefing. If it's just a shot uh, or nothing special, just nothing special. Yeah. But you you just consciously remind you each specifics of of the stage yeah. at each at each turn of of the stage, yeah. basically. Yeah. What I found uh, personally very interesting is that, I mean, the qualities of the brain, how we never really explored the the. the the brain so sometimes when i'm tired and you are in a, in a hard part of the i mean life situation might be match yeah, might yeah, be whatever yeah. my brain uh gives me like different gifts yeah, right sometimes yeah. it started to play music for me yeah it could be so I, I might find myself in a stage like and and popping up the my favorite song from from my childhood because the brain <laughs> is the brain the brain is uh aware about what makes you feel good and uh, and and uh, and uh, relaxed that's that's oh, yeah. what you need. Oh yeah. Uh, another question, please. Um, so, this is the last question from the Instagram, and that's uh, dry fire drills. Your favorite? <laughs> if, if you can, if you can trade off. We, we some know of this guy's approach, right? Coming soon, guys. Coming <laughs> soon. <laughs> yeah. And your Khalil's? Um, I, I usually um, when I started shooting. I I started with um, dry fire. Yeah, we know so, dry fire a lot. You mentioned yeah, that in, in oh, Philippines. Oh yeah, the yeah, previous yeah. podcast. So I usually just put um, two or three small targets, oh. and I do full speed. So like I pressure myself to aim with that speed that I oh, have. I see. There's no way, um, there's no slowing down. Oh really? Yeah. So for example, my goal is to do a hundred good reps. So I need to be honest to myself that if I didn't land the sights and then you need to call trigger, it right, you, you need to call the shot. I won't yeah, yeah. Um, uh, count that uh, count that as mm-hmm. a good yeah. rep. Then so my goal is a hundred reps, a like hundred good reps. Sometimes I, I end up doing two hundred because I yeah, yeah. overswing. Oh, nice. I'm it's not sure. very like about the self discipline. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think. Carl, I'm I'm not sure if we if we did the desert island if, if No, we haven't. We haven't. But desert Let's island is the last question and before that uh, I just want to ask Khalil, you have a new girlfriend. I heard. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. is that true? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How, how yeah, is true. how is she supporting your passion for shooting? She's she, super supportive. Um she actually also helped me with um my mental game. She yep. before my nice. recent matches uh, before shooting she calls me and calms me down. There's actually a match where I, I brought her with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. To see what you're actually doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So She's I, excited I, for that. How I, does it work? Is that you win, you get sex, you lose, you know sex? <laughs> 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 no. I'm, ju- I'm just, uh, you know, curious about Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> no. no, if I lose my... Um, so my motivation when having a girlfriend and shooting competitions is to win because... If you do something stupid or fuck up the match, um, people or especially my, my, my parents, 
um, my my girlfriend won't look good. Yeah, you they she yeah. will be blamed yeah. uh, mm. for being here oh, and being true. distractive. Right, uh, oh. distractive yep, yep. for you and yep, yep. Uh, and not helping for That's performing. That's how it works. So, so unfortunately, yeah, mm. it's a it's a real you know situation for a lot of the of the people and a lot of the athletes. I believe mm -hmm. not only shooting world, but uh, you, you are still people, the, right? Like yeah. everywhere in the, yeah. everywhere in any sports. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Not but simple life. Yeah, but uh, it's great that that she has that good influence on you. That, yeah, that, yeah. that you kind of allow her to, to calm you down and it works actually which is great yeah, during the match that where I brought her to the yeah. to the match um, not all of them care <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's yeah. true I actually um, had two or three bad stages where I had two miss on one stage and then another miss on a, a long course okay then my I was computing score mm -hmm. so I know that I'm on the borderline of losing so I need to focus and um um, recalibrate, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, she's actually back. one of the people who helped me relax during the match. Um, nice. Her and my dad and my mom. Good for you. Good for you. Great. Let's do this in uh, this in Ireland. Let's go for that. So, what set of guns would you bring to the desert island? So it's a rifle and a pistol. And yeah, and guys, you need to survive. You're on a desert I island, so. So nope. yeah, that those are the only tools you have with you. You're allowed to have with you. Okay, so the real question is, if it's a desert island, do we have like forest, trees, and animals uh, you, there, you, or what? Yeah, because yeah, you do. Uh, if there's, do, if there's do. nothing, do I really it's need a, a gun that's, for? That's one of the English things uh, that they call it desert island, but it's like the Robin, uh, not the Robin Hood. Um, yeah. Um, yeah um, um, That's Robinson Crusoe. Yeah, Robinson, Robinson Crusoe, Crusoe aye, Island. Aye, aye, so you, aye, aye. they are maybe even the you know cannibals. Okay. You just explored. <laughs> you, you found a new island, and you Sounds need to good. survive there because your your crew left you there for. What's the ammo capacity we have? I have to strategize that. Sorry, guys. That, that's not the way I work. <laughs> I, need to understand, I, I need to understand exactly what in which situation we are, and so I can. I I don't think that there are limitations on ammo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So just the, there is a long gun and a short gun. Yeah. Like, like a primary, secondary. Uh, and you just need to live with that and use it for whatever you want. It might be self-protection. It might be hunting. It might be you know you just like uh, just staying insane, staying <laughs> being alone <laughs> there with your gun. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll go AR-15 for sure as okay. a long gun. Okay. With uh, probably scope magnifier and extra dot and sideways. I'll so like, Yeah. So like we would say for three, the same kind of setup we will use for three guns. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Enough, of course, enough magazines just in case. Right. Uh, that will be uh, the long one, and definitely on the short one, two versions. Either because if I'm on the desert island, there's a risk that there's no extra batteries for the scope. So my my first choice would be to say, okay, I'll take a, a smaller gun that I can easily carry, and I will go on a compact optic ready with the dot, but at the end of the day, if we don't have any spares or anything, maybe I'll go just for a regular Shadow 2 iron sights uh, that I can have my backup <laughs> gun, so that, because the, the, the long gun, you know, the, the, the regular scope and the, the extra dot, you can turn it on and off for what you need. So yeah. it's not a big deal. You're not, you're not <laughs> hey there man. on that. In, so in, that will be the, the, the logic for me. Imagine meeting Eric on a desert island, half naked, after a few months <laughs> with, with, the, with the custom bamboo grip on the pistol because he <laughs> broke it. That's, <laughs> that's a very possible option. You know, you know all, all fired up from the sun. You know, carrying oh. like, like a deer on, on the shoulders or something like... That's a very good option. Be and a freaking half destroyed shadow on him like you know <laughs> that's pretty cool that's pretty we, cool we idea. should ask AI to draw yeah, that exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that great great Khalil what is your approach to that for the long gun um, I would go with a AR-15 or a Bren okay okay um, with a regular damn you're, you, you're going to kill what dinosaurs or bulls or what with the <laughs> Anything. <laughs> yeah, maybe with a scope, but um, well, of course it needs to have back so backup iron sights. Okay, you guys both are talking about the 5.56 variant, okay? Yeah, no, five like five 300 six. blackout or... Mid-size mid mid caliber. Uh, it could be, you know, going for the brand, it might be actually thinking bigger. <laughs> you can go 308. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I could use a 308, yeah. That's a lot of weight. 
<laughs> True. Will, as a Filipino, he will customize it for 338 Lapua Magnum anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he will do like a bamboo customization. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we need to make it fit for the island, right? <laughs> like a sling from, from like a you know, bamboo rope or from well, the that's co- what, coconut. That, that's what I wanted to say. It's not so unreal scenario for someone from Philippines. There are thousands of islands. Yeah. Or, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, more oh, than yeah. 3,000 islands. Yeah. So, you so, know. Oh, yeah. You have a lot. Um, for the short... Um, for the short one, I'm gonna go with the TS240. TS2. Because I believe on how reliable a 40 caliber pistol. You know, the is. reason why he wants a TS2 is for the extra mag capacity because he <laughs> sprayer lots. With you, classic guys like <laughs> chasing her with the bullets. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the reasons. Oh, yeah. great, great. Gentlemen, we had a blast. Thank um, you guys for hosting us. Thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. We need to thank CZ for letting us record this, this thing. Yep. Uh, it has to become something we do every year here at the UA show because I think it's it's part of a it has to become part of a of who we are and what we are uh, as a CZ group. So mm-hmm. it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, thank you, thank you that you kind of appreciate that. It, it's like a big honor for us to to being a part of this one. Uh, and guys, Carol, I got your video here in the phone, so oh, you? you guys will awesome. see, they will do the edit and Shit. you will see what uh, <laughs> yeah. what uh, Carol sings uh, in, in the goggles. If I knew your recording, I would like try better, but <laughs> <laughs> you will see how Carol sings <laughs> with pistol, right? right? <laughs> all right, gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank we wish you, you all the you. best. Um, uh, we cannot wait to see you again. Uh, yeah, enjoy S- safe travels home. Yep, you too, guys. You. And see you uh, next time. Talk to you soon all, and see you on the matches. Yeah, for all or those of you who have listened. Uh, thank and you very watched. much. There was uh, there is uh, plenty of the new stuff to look for on the Check Farms podcast, and stay tuned. See you guys. See you bye guys. Bye. See you. bye. Ciao.